is tea time. Cheers. I am Patricia Moore and I come on here week to week where I spill my tea. It is my transparency, my journey as I walk through life with Christ in hopes that my testimony inspires you, encourages you to go build your relationship with Christ. And if you don't have a relationship, then you go seek him out for yourself. First, I want to start off with saying thank you. I don't even think thank you are the words that express how my heart feels, how grateful I am that you all take the time out to celebrate, to support, to send messages. There were people that sent cash app and I was blown away. Thank you to those who have carried me through these past few seasons through prayer, through encouragement, through holding my hand, through sometimes laughing and crying with me. I just want to tell you thank you. You don't understand what it's like when you are going through seasons and you feel like you're not walking alone, but that God sends people around you so you can feel his comfort, so you can feel his love. And this is one of the reasons why I started Tea Time because I want you to know that you aren't alone and that there is comfort. There is people out there that genuinely care for you and love you. And I am just so grateful that God decided <laughs> that I was enough for him because I chose to make a decision that he was enough for me and I received his love. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys helped me to celebrate this birthday, going into another year, a new season. You guys are so awesome. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, I can't thank you enough. So what are we talking about today? Well, as you know, I took a trip to a place. I don't want to put it out there, but I took a trip this for my birthday because I wanted to meet my sister. Um, we have the same father. And I told you last week that I didn't get a chance to have the daddy-daughter relationship that I wanted to with my father. But listen, this week I want to tell you about denial is not delay, all right? As well as God's timing is so perfect. Let me say that again. Delay is not denial and God's timing is perfect because I think I switched that. When I went and met my sister and I got a chance to talk to her, catch up with her and learn about my dad, I realized that what I wanted so bad, like I wanted so bad, what I chased, what I thought was good for me, God knew best. And not to say that my dad wasn't a good dad, it's just what I thought I wanted, what I thought I would get, it just wouldn't have happened. But let me tell you, the fact that God denied me so many times you after a while you accept it because you're like i'm not getting what i want it's not happening it's not happening and once you accept the fact that maybe that denial is not happening you have no choice right you have no choice because you can't make it happen you can't force god's hand you can only force your own will but you can't force god's will. you can't surely can't force nobody else's will so you go through the process of letting go. You let go of your strong will. And then I believe God's perfect plan that he has for your life, that Jeremiah 29, 11, he's able to unfold it. And he's able to show you what he had for you. And baby, let me tell you something. It is nothing like walking in God's plan. It's nothing like receiving God's plan. My sister is so amazing. She's so beautiful. She's so kind. She's so loving. Like she was so warm and welcoming. I asked her, I said, you never met me before. What made you open up your house and allow me to spend the night the very first time? Because all we did was talk on the phone. And I reached out to her through social media the first time we initially met. And I said, what made you open up your home to me? And she said, that's the way dad would have wanted it. And what could you possibly do to me? Girl, I just prayed and said, Lord, if this is what you will have me to do, this is what I will do. And it just warmed my heart. It really warmed my heart to finally get a chance to meet her. And like the timing was perfect. Like I couldn't have set it up any better. Everything just worked out, I believe, the way that God wanted it to. And so now I look back and it made me realize that the things that, like I said, we want, the closure that we want with people, sometimes we may not get it. 
But what we do get is a fresh start. And now I have a fresh start with my sister. I have a fresh start with life. And I don't have to sit back anymore and wonder like, well, God, why are you denying me of this? Why can't I have that? Why won't you let me have my wants and needs? Because his denial is so perfect. And it is not a delay because he didn't forget about me because his timing was so perfect. Like, I just can't even describe how everything came together so perfectly. There is a scripture that says, and then God answered, write this, write what you see. Write it out in big block letters so that it can be read on the run. The vision message is a witness pointing to what's coming. It aches for the coming and it can hardly wait. And then it doesn't lie. If it seems slow in coming, wait. It's on its way. It will come right on time. That's Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3. Second Peter says 3 through 9. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. And I believe once I reach repentance of repenting for God, I'm sorry for not trusting you. God, I repent that your timing wasn't good enough for me and I was anxious and I didn't want to wait on you and I wanted something to hurry up and happen. Lord, I repent that sometimes I would insert my own will. Lord, I repent that I didn't believe what you had for me, that you denied me. I didn't trust that. God, I repent of all of that because Lord, now I see. I see what you were doing. I understand why. And Lord, from now on, I didn't say I wasn't perfect. I didn't say I wouldn't have questions. But Lord, I truly trust you because after what I've seen and what I've been through, Lord, you are enough. And what you have for me, it is perfect. And the plans that you have for me are truly to prosper me. So if I don't say anything else on here, I want to encourage you that to be okay with a denial. Because there is something God is protecting you from. It is not a delayed promise. He's just waiting on you to repent, to surrender to him so he can take over. And that at the right time, at the right time, because he knows everything will be well. And I just can't express to you what comes from that. When God does it, the feeling is so describable. But what I will say, it, it will include his love, his joy, his peace, and his comfort. All right. Cheers.